Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. And today I'm going to doing a highlight on a script called Extract Pages 2.0. It is not a free script, but it is definitely worth the $80 if you are doing a lot of PDF exporting from InDesign. It'll pay for itself because <laughs> if you're exporting multiple types of PDFs and different variations on the same PDFs, it's worth it. <laughs> so to get started, um, if you don't know anything about scripts, go ahead and watch that video above that will teach you how to install a script. For now, I'm going to assume that you already know how to do this. The first thing you need to do is obviously find and install and extract pages. So I'm going to show you where that is. Here is the website on which you can purchase extract pages. Um, this is the URL at the top. I'll leave that up for a second so you can see it. All right. So after you have purchased and installed this script, here is what it can do for you that is so powerful. Here's my InDesign file. I have this huge collection of business cards that I need to export out. Normally what I do is I would open up my export options. I would select the page I wanted. I would save that PDF as a normal format. I would make sure I had the correct name, export. Then I would open up my export options again and use the same settings except I would include the bleed and add underscore bleed to the file name. Then I would open that same export again, export it a third time with bleed and crop marks on it. So I was opening the export options three different times to get one PDF variation for one person's name. Then I was also including a JPEG of the PDFs for easy reference. So this means I was opening the export menu for each and every one of these PDFs four times. 14 times four is beyond my pay grade in math, but that's a lot of times to open up the export options. Extract pages is a lifesaver when it comes to doing these print projects that need multiple variations on the export for the PDFs. So first things first, um, I'm first going to make sure that we know how to save a preset for a PDF when you export it. This will save you a little time even if you don't have the money to spend on extract pages, we can still do this. So let's go ahead and export out this particular page of the PDF. This is page number two. I'm going to do control E to export it. And I'm going to change the name of this one to the name of the business card holder, Kevin M. And then I'm going to hit save. Now, I have a particular setting I want to use for this PDF. I want the view to be fitted to the page, and I want to export just page two. And I want, well, actually no, we'll leave that as all for now, because we're saving a preset. Then I'm going to check everything in here, make sure it's all good. Sometimes I'll change the color conversion. So when I have everything ready for my, my export, I'm going to click Save Preset. Now, this preset, I could call it Print. And then I like to use a bullet character with Alt-7. Um, no bleed, perhaps. So then I would click OK, save this preset, and every time I wanted to use it, 
I would just pull it from the drop down menu. You can see the presets I have already made down here at the bottom. I have one that's for print that includes bleed, I have one for print that includes the bleed and crop, and one for print um, that forces it to become CMYK and will display that PDF in full view when it is opened. So since we already have those presets created, let's go ahead and cancel this export and we're going to move on to the extract pages part of this presentation. Here's my scripts window. If this isn't open, go up to Window, Utilities, and then Scripts. That will open up the Scripts window. To start Extract Pages, all you need to do is double click on the script in your list. And then we'll start breaking down what we have inside of here. Currently, we are set to the preset of None. And I think I may have modified the defaults on this already. Um, typically, this is all blank, and this checkbox isn't checked, and etc. Um, but let's move over to the preset I have created for exporting these PDFs specifically. I have a page range of all. I'm going to extract these pages as individual pages because I will be uploading them to a printer and the printer wants the front and the backs of the PDFs to be separated anyway. Now here's where things get interesting. Extract Pages allows us to do a file naming custom action that includes a paragraph style. What I've done in these paragraph styles on my file, this name has been applied the paragraph style of name that I made for it. That way, every time InDesign encounters an instance of name, it's going to change that file name, which is really cool. So to break this down, here is a typical file naming standard for me. I start with the year and underscore, the company name, BC for business card. And now this is pulling the content from the paragraph style of name. If you need a little extra help with the naming, um, Extract Pages does give you a cheat sheet here of how you can insert different uh, content. Here's the one we're using for my style. We're using paragraph, colon, and then whatever the name of the style is. You can also do this for character styles or uh, even a grep search. I haven't utilized this one very much yet. You can also use a file counter. Um, this will add numbers as you go along the files. This is a very useful one as well. Um, and then just other things like this, first, last pages, and others. Next, we are going to look at these options, the presets. Remember those uh, PDF export presets we made? Here's where those come in. So these are the additional um, presets that I have set up for Extract Pages. I want Extract Pages to pull a preset of this one, the print CMYK in full view, uh, with no additional suffix for it. Then I want a print and a bleed crop with a suffix of underscore bleed crop, and then print and just a regular bleed with a underscore bleed in the name. Uh, now the one thing that is maybe a downfall of this is that this preset is always stuck to a particular folder location. Um, so I just have a default one set up in my machine where I know these things will always end up. The last thing I'm going to add to this particular export is a JPEG. Um, so I click that plus button to add a new preset. We're going to select JPEG. And I don't need a file name suffix because it's going to add an extension anyway. I'm going to click OK. Now, here's where things get really cool. We are going to now watch Extract Pages run through this whole file, grab every single one, and export them in four different formats. I'm going to click Extract, and I'm going to allow it to save the changes that I have made. Now we get to watch as InDesign automatically runs through and exports everything. 
I recommend not touching anything while it is doing this. Just let it run until it's done because sometimes if you uh, move that modal around, it will tend to interrupt the uh, flow of the exports. So there we go. 21 seconds to export four variations on all 14 of these PDFs. Really cool. So let's go check out what we got. There we go. So if it, InDesign does not encounter an instance of, say, the paragraph style called name, it will simply just leave it blank, um, which is fine. And now we see all of these exported out very quickly. Actually, let's highlight and see how many files we just exported in 21 seconds. 62 items. That is incredible. Thank you very much, Extract Pages. I love you and I use you almost every day. All right, guys, I hope this video helps. Um, if you use Extract Pages or we're gonna buy it, go ahead and uh, leave a comment below. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.